Oh my, you're so square. I'm talking about the square roots of a number. Okay, let's go to um a definition. The definition of square root. A is the square root of B if A squared is equal to B. Okay, all right. Let's see an example of something like that. Find the square roots of 25. Okay, well, um, the square roots of 25. are 5 and minus 5. And here's why. 5 squared is 25 and minus 5 squared is equal to 25. Because both of those numbers squared is 25, they're both square roots of 25. Okay. Fox and flower, fox and flower. That brings me over here. Well then why in my entire career, whenever I see the square root of 25, that's just 5. Okay, yes, that is just 5. And it's a notational concern. When we see this notation, yes, when we see the square root of 25, that's called the principal square root. That's the first positive square root. So when you see that notation, when you see it in this notation, that's the square root of 25, which is just positive 5. Okay, well, since we're here, maybe we should talk about something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this just came to me. This just in. Yes. What's the square root of minus 25? All right, so we're trying to see what number times itself is minus 25. Right. There is no number times itself that's minus 25. In essence, some of you guys are thinking, well, maybe it's minus 5. Yeah? Well, minus 5 times itself is positive 25. And then others are thinking, well, maybe it's 5. Let's see. 5 times itself is also positive 25. Here, it's essential to look at the signage of the number. When they have the same sign, that product's positive. When they have the same sign, that product's positive. We can't take a number times itself and get a negative number because the signs have to be the same. So here, this is not real. It's imaginary, like Snuffleupagus. You know, Big Bird's imaginary friend. Well, I guess they had to make him real because he was messing up the kids.